Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs, and today we're going to take a look at coloring digital stamps. In one of my previous tutorials entitled PNG versus ABR files, which should you use, we not only explored the different usages of PNG and ABR files, but also how to experiment with blend modes, opacity levels, and color overlays to get a desired result. Today, let's take a look at another way of coloring digital stamp outlines and also how to color the closed areas or the inside areas of stamps. And in this uh, doodle, it would be this inside layer of the leaves that we're going to focus on today. Um, this doodle is one of my favorites from My Heart Leaves 2 by the designer Sweet Maid. So let's get started. What we'd like to do first is select the magic wand tool in the left toolbar. That is your fourth icon down on the left. And if you don't see your magic wand tool because it is nested here with the quick selection tool, if you have the quick selection tool visible, just click on that down pointing arrow and select your magic wand tool. Up at the top options bar, make sure that your contiguous uh, checkbox is not checked. And then just click anywhere on your uh, doodle, and that will select the entire doodle. Go ahead and go up to um, Edit, Fill, and it will bring up this dialog box for you. We can go ahead and fill it with color, uh, your foreground color, background color. You have all these other options as well. We're going to go ahead and click on Color today, and that will bring up the color picker. And I already have the green selected that I'd like to use, so I'll just click OK. You can go ahead and experiment with the mode um, and the opacity levels if you like. I'm going to just leave them at normal and 100% today and click OK. And now our doodle is filled with that green color. Control D to deselect and you're ready to move on to the next level. Now this works in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, but if you are working in Photoshop, you do have another option if you like. You can go up to Select, uh, pretend like this is black again, you can go to Select uh, Color Range, and that will select the black for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. Just make sure your uh, fuzziness is set to 200. So let's go ahead and color the inside of the leaves now. Now, uh, there are two options, and I will go through the first one first, and then the second one um, I will just show you very quickly. Again, we want to make sure that uh, we select the magic wand tool, and this time we want to make sure the contiguous checkbox in the toolbox is checked. Make sure your doodle is active. Click anywhere inside one of these leaves, and that will select that area. You can go to, um, you can actually use your paint bucket tool to fill that if you want, or you can go up to edit fill, and I'm going to choose color again, and I will just scoot this up to make it a little lighter green this time, and click OK, Control D to deselect, and now our leaf is filled. Now the uh, issue or trouble that I have with doing it this way is that this is now still one um, image. If I turn it off, you can see that the fill and the doodle are joined together. I personally like a lot of flexibility. I want that fill layer on its own layer so that I have more uh, options with it. I could fill it with a different color if I wanted very easily without having to go through the reselection process. I could clip a paper to it if I wanted. <clears throat> it just makes a um, makes it a little easier to do other things if you like. So I'm going to do Control Z to deselect that, or um, remove that, Control D to deselect. Now I'm going to go ahead and name this Doodle so I know where I am. And I have one, two, three leaves that I'd like to fill. Oh, I see I spelled Doodle wrong. Let's fix that. Okay, so let's make this a little smaller so we can see it. Again, I have three leaves, and so I'm going to create three new layers by clicking on this new layer icon at the bottom. One, two, three. I will name this uh, number one, leaf number one, number two, and number three. Now clicking on the doodle again, I'm going to grab that uh, magic wand tool. 
Again, I'm going to select it, but instead of filling it now, I'm going to go to the layer one blank layer. And now I will go to edit fill and choose that color. Okay, now that color fill is on its own layer. If I want to do anything else with that, I can. And I would continue in that manner, selecting each layer and filling each layer. So let's go ahead and bring up a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper from By Design, a collaboration between myself and uh, the French Vero the French Touch. Now I have this on top of the layer, color layer of that leaf, and I just want to clip it there. I could go ahead and move it around however I like, and that looks fine. I'll leave it right there. You get the idea. You have more options by having this fill layer on a separate layer from the doodle. And that's all there is to it. Now next week I'm going to take this a little further. We're going to embellish this a little bit more and um, I'll show you some more techniques on how to make this a really awesome doodle. But for now, experiment with um, coloring your digital stamps and maybe going ahead and filling some of the interior areas as well. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next week.